Hey, welcome back. We're gonna say goodbye to everybody we've met in Undertale today. You might recognize that this is the patch of grass that Flowey was standing on when he tried to pff, kill us. <laughs> but no matter. Let's go back to the very beginning. Oh, we have Asriel. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Yeah, that's something to think about too. We're like 10, right? Like a kid, why would we climb a mountain by ourselves? Is it because we want to disappear? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? Huh, I don't know, maybe Frisk didn't come from a very happy family. I don't know why Wellens climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Wellens hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Wellens. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Wellens wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. <laughs> There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Wellens and I combine our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. Whoa. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took, so maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Friss, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh see me don't think of it as me okay i just want you to remember me like this someone that was your friend for a little while oh and frisk oh he really doesn't want to leave he has so many things to say be careful in the outside world okay despite what everyone thinks it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. It's a terrifying thought. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Aww. 
I... Don't you have anything better to do, Frisk? Uh, oh, but you're my friend too, but... It's time to leave you, I guess. Now I kind of really regret naming the first human Wellens, huh? It's like saying, oh yeah, Wellens is such a bad guy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's interesting to learn that, you know, I don't know, <laughs> Wellens hated humanity. That's kind of sad, I guess. But obviously, Frisk didn't come down, or this Frisk anyway, didn't go to the mountain because they hated humanity. Or else I hope not. Uh, probably none of these things changed, right? I'm guessing. So we should be on the lookout for NPCs. Hello! Oh, this guy has nothing to say. I'm gonna try to find everybody to talk to. No fast traveling or anything, because I know there's like NPCs on every single map pretty much. The one thing that's crazy about Undertale is that every single NPC is absolutely unique. There hasn't really been recurring or reused NPCs. Like, the maximum that's happened is, like, the Snowdrake family looking alike, but pff, they're a family, so they're supposed to look alike anyway. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. Whoa, feels like a million years ago. Yeah, let's take one. <laughs> you took more candy, how disgusting. <laughs> hey, after saving the world and everything, I deserve I deserve this, okay? Where's my monster candy? Yeah. Oh, we still have dreams. Wait. Can I look at the description of a dream? The goal of determination. Surprisingly, only heals 12 HP. But yes, it feels like it's been ages since we've been here. Oh, there you are, little rock. The exit's open? Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Sure. Oh, Can you not be pushed? Oh no, well, you... You better get out of here in time, okay? You never know when that barrier is gonna close again. Looks like Cheese has a nibble taken out of it. <gasps> oh, little mousy, you came out. I'm so proud of you. Wait, does that say a new message now? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. It already did. Aww. Uh, ah. Spider bake sale. Time to do a nice thing. I don't have space for your food, but I'll donate you some money. Let's see here. Here you go. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Time to get out of here, guys. Sure. What did I get? Spider donut and spider cider. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Made with whole spiders, not just the. Oh god. Why are they making food out of their friends? I don't know. Right. Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. Hey, I didn't press X. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? Hey, I never pressed X for you anyway. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? What? Oh, there's only three here. What? Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. He, hey, thank you so much. You were the first frog that gave me a hint on how to get past Toriel, so thank you a lot. But where is the fourth frog? Like, is it... 
on the walls, maybe? I don't know, like... Oh! There's an ant-sized frog in a crack in the wall. It waves at you. Aww, that's sweet. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open too? Well, let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Okay, buddy. <laughs> just just make sure you get out. Ah, oh, right. See? This is the place that looked the same as the castle. Hmm. And then we have Toriel's house. I wonder if we can find anything new there. I don't think so. You never know. Oh, can we check out Toriel's diary? This is our room. Aww, someone's dusted off the empty photo frame. And you see the golden flower painting or drawing there too. Since we're leaving, we should turn off the lights. diary doesn't seem like it's changed yeah why did the skeleton want a friend because she was feeling bonely ha 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 <laughs> oh but even though the whole house they have like just random flowers she still had one pot of golden flowers in her room <laughs> yeah we've seen these And then that was Asgore's room. Hmm. Still just you, Frisk. I can't believe it, our journey is coming to an end. Let's see here. Hmm. Same book, I think. <laughs> and then here... Pie! We should finish it up! Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. Of course. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate. Oh yeah, we have that. White fur. Alright, let's leave the ruins and get back to the path to Snowden. Hey, you know what? What was this thing then? They kept talking about this meaning something, but was it just some sort of side thing about how the angels descend upon whatever? What was it called again? I can't remember the name. The turtle guy told us, right? Oh, we should probably go talk to the turtle guy again. He said come back later. I'm sure this is later. Hey, remember when Sans put a twig in the middle of the road and scared me? You might think I'm joking, but I was actually scared that time. It was really eerie. And he was following us behind too. The whole thing was just quite creepy. <laughs> and who can forget this? Just a conveniently shaped lamp that we can't hide under again. Eh, close enough, close enough. <laughs> All right. Oh. A fishing rod affixed to the ground. It might have a new message now. A note. Never mind, guys. <laughs> what did the first note say again? I can't quite remember. Something about... Were they looking for a date? <laughs> ah. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now. But she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Ha 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 ha. The doctor. She brought my wife. Back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Oh, That's kind of sad and sweet at the same time. It's snowy. Oh, yeah, we met you in the lab, didn't we? Hmm. I mean, I'm glad that your family is taking you back and everything. That's really nice. But what about the 16 other people's families? <laughs> but I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad for you. It's really sad, though. 
All right, all right. Oh, oh, wait, wait. The last line. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Update, am I a royal guardsman yet? Yes, you are. Aww. Oh, wait. Papyrus became a royal guardsman in the neutral ending, right? So he hasn't become one here yet. And he won't because we're leaving. Ah, uh, this is Doggo, right? That was a dog's name. The dog that didn't like people moving. And here's a piece of ice. And I believe the snowman is here, right? Yeah, hey! Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up? Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> we can take your entire body to the surface, man. Like, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll dismantle you a bit. Like, Asgore can take the head and then Undyne can take your body. I'll take your legs. We'll move your whole body up there, okay? No, really, though. I don't want to just bring that one piece of you up there. See you up there, okay? And we'll stay here. What was this place? Oh, that was when... Papyrus and Sans were on the other side, and then they set up this elaborate puzzle that Papyrus solved for me. Oh! Soccer. Again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it right this time. Oh my god. Doing so well. Holy crap. Wait. Just gotta like... Ugh! Yeah! Blue, hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G. Oh, I don't remember being awarded 2G the first time around. Did I? Oh, it's here again. Can we get like a better score? So I assume if we used less... Oh my god, we screwed up, we screwed up. Screw it, whatever, screw you. <laughs> I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers like 20 teen. You're a snowdrake too, right? How come you aren't with your family? His... Hers... Is this... Um... Dogaressa? Oh, I can't remember their names. Dogami and Dogaressa's house? They were married, right? And then down here... Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Okay. <laughs> I remember that. The crossword puzzle. Aww. Everything is still here. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Wait. Seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. The mouse came out again! Seeing as the spaghetti is still here somehow, I hereby donate it to the public. It's like a playground for your mouth! <laughs> Papyrus. It's an unplugged microwave. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, little mousy. You'll get there one day. This one has a tough because they gotta microwave it and then eat it. <laughs> That's terrible. Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hey, you again! Heh! <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? The elaborate puzzles that Papyrus said he would help me with. The color tile puzzle. Dougie's not home. Box of Palmer raisins. Seems like the base of a snow dog. Yeah, there was somebody here before, right? A dog. The strange, suspicious cow. We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Whew. He'll figure it out. Ah. It's a snow papyrus. Right. It's a lump of snow with the word sans on it. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Wait. <gasps> Do you have ears? Is that your problem here? Oh! The chandelier! 
decoration deer thing. Everyone's leaving, eh? Are you Canadian? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. You're not leaving? Don't stay here. You'll be alone. Yeah, this cave... I still don't know what's up with it. Mm. I don't know. There's that symbol again. It's a door, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Good point. Oh, this bridge. What was that thing the papyrus said? Blades will slice! Something something. <laughs> Lots of weapons of mass destruction. Snowden! Hey! Hey man! I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light. Then I felt my body being pulled into... something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. Huh. That must be when the, the moment the barrier broke down. I heard it was all cause a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. I'm waiting for it. Did you hear? The runes have been opened up. And get this, they were opened from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. You probably need to set some new prices. It's gonna get a lot more competitive up there. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hey guys! Are you guys getting ready to pack up? Mom says that we can go to the surface world now! What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. <laughs> Sounds exactly like a kid. Hello! Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed in is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Aw, oh, that's great to hear. Can't go in. What about your patrons that have been sleeping there for like ages? Uh... Is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates or... Is there one here? That kid over there told me it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, first, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash. <laughs> right? Oh. Oh. Well, oh, okay. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. I'm, I'm sure they will be. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. What are you talking about? She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> you, you backstabbing traitor. <laughs> I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know he gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Oh shit. Oh man. Out of a job. Hey, where are all the dogs? I would wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready! Soon, I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey! People won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. We're all moving back to the human world, but won't the humans be like, What the heck, man? Why are the monsters back? And won't they be... I don't know aggressive towards us? Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, 
since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So, kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself? G good job, good job. Oh, all the cards are on the ground. <laughs> Where all the dogs go? Huh, they've gone somewhere. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was gonna say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. <laughs> Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans! <laughs> Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Wahaha! <laughs> this adventurous spirit, I'm like a kid again. And my children are like... Double children. <laughs> hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? <laughs> hey you, you better come out here! Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Hey, you've done this shtick before, okay? Get out of here. Hey! We're going! We're, we're leaving! We're leaving without you, okay? You better come out soon. Hey! Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> Good job. What were you even doing the ice thing for anyway? I noticed in the core... There was also like an ice thing that was being dunked into the place. Not sure what that was. Maybe it's related. Oh wow! The whole gang's here. Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait! We're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Endogeny. You can tell it's the parent for sure, cause... Yeah, cause of that. <laughs> All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay though. It's really brought our families together. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. Aww. It's gonna be hard to adjust new life with a amalgamate relative, but I hope you guys get along. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. And wasn't it like the greatest crossword creator in the underground and then the greatest other thing creator? This will be our paper. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big THE END on the front and call it a day? Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? You, you must work for BuzzFeed. This is an echo flower and it repeats the last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> Did you hear anything else before I talked to this guy though? All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Same as before, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yeah, this map. Remember when we first met Undyne here? Ah, oh, good memories, right? When she pointed her spear at us. <laughs> Who are you? I don't remember you. Three gold for the fairy. Okay. Have I have I gone through the entire game without seeing you once? Oh! Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. Oh! I thought you charged three gold. Why are you giving me money? Wait, where are we? Oh, we're somewhere else now. Okay, well, let's not go to places out of order. So, please take me back. Ditto. Yeah, I don't know why this guy's giving me money back. <laughs> oh, 
hello. Are you Washua? The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the earth is made of dirt. Oh, <laughs> you can't stay clean there. Poor you. Oh. Oh, we can't go there. We have to... We have to take this guy. Oh. Seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Oh, good job. All the mice. They're doing good stuff. Ah, oh, squeak. <laughs> yeah. Good job, mice. I feel so happy for you, but you need to get out too. We're all leaving. What about this? Oh, we can't use it anymore. Hey, turtle guy. No, that's not where turtle guy was. Oh, nice cream guy. Nice cream guy, no? Not here. We can go and see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. You mean the ones that are here? That are not real stars? Beats me! He's gonna follow me? I've been wondering when we're all gonna go free. Since if we did, how would I ever know? Well, I'll keep my tentacles out for you, you hear? As soon as I know, I'll be the first to tell you, you hear? Buddy, we're going, okay? You better come with us. You can work on your rock band when we get up to the surface. Oh, hello. Oh. Jesus Christ. It's good to be with my sister again. Are you lemon bread? I can't move. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I can't talk to Shiren though. Is that Shiren? Like, where's the body? Part of me wants to see my new brother. But most other parts of me don't. It's good to be with my sister again. Well, I hope you enjoy your time with your sister. It's gonna take adjusting to get used to. Oh, I remember now. I forgot to read that sign before. Oh, I can't read it. A stupid annoying dog never came back. Oh, hello, Aaron. First ghosts are real, now anime's real. All my nightmares are true. <laughs> Screw off. Anime's the best. <laughs> oh, how do I get up now? Hey, hey, man. Are you gonna help me out or what? Because how am I gonna get up now? <laughs> God damn it. Do I have to go to the duck? Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. It's gotta be any day now! <laughs> Buddy, we're going! Come! <laughs> oh! Hey, man! Don't drag your dirty feet in here! I just cleaned this trash! <laughs> God! Oh, right, the dummy guy relocated! So, you helped get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. No worries. We all make mistakes. Fire, do you want to go to the surface? <laughs> we can all leave together. Oh, Blookie Metaton! Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out a lot lately. <laughs> I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Oh no! <laughs> then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk! Okay, I won't forget it. <laughs> oh my god. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. There you are, Frisk darling. 
Feast your eyes, Dr. Alf has completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier's open! I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all! Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troop. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer, and Blue Nefsaf look here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together, it really feels overdue, doesn't it? Oh, I'm so glad. Aww. Hey, he's packed up. He doesn't have the CDs lying around anymore. Did you always have a TV? Spooky old TV, most of the buttons are worn away. Though the channel changing buttons look good as new. See, music sharing forum. Ah, same as before. It's a fridge. You should really clean your house, man. What is this? There's a flyer for a bake sale. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind then. He's all packed up, kind of. What about you? You're same as ever. No new entries? Ah, uh, nope. Same as before. Hey, but what happened to the snails? Oh my goodness. Ah, you're still here. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. <laughs> Let's not wonder that. Snail, snail. You reached the end of your extensive journey. What a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. Thanks, I've been sitting for quite a while. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. <laughs> Using its money, the snail bought a hat. Where? <laughs> it must be so small I can't even see it. Hey, snail racers. You guys gonna leave with us? Nope, nope, oh, okay. <laughs> good, good luck. Keep racing and I'm rooting for ya, yellow one. Win me some gold. Next stop should be- Oh, the turtle guy. I knew you could do it! Fluffy buns, why? Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy buns! The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns. And the rest is history. Aww. What a nice king. Eh, goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her. But she kept thinking they were calling her a cow, so she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flow into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Oh. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. <laughs> why, why are we randomly asking him, is Asgore a goat? Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course, Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy, teensy bit reliefing, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. <laughs> that's, that's rude. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. She, what? She was an urchin? <laughs> I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It would be the mailman or something like that. 
Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> Aw, it's nice to hear some childhood stories about Undyne. The only one we know is the bad at cooking, passionate one. <laughs> River person? I guess I don't need to talk to you anymore. I don't think... Do you say anything new? Tra la la. Guess not. I won't be taking you for now. Hey, everybody! It's weird not hearing the Temmie music here. Whoa, Tem here news, very good! Whoa, Tem here news, very good! Yeah, yeah, Tems can go free! A pleasing development, no? Oh, God! What was your name? Ben? I can't remember. Why are you the only articulate one around here? Oh, God. Hey, how are your hives doing? Oh, shit, you're still... <laughs> You're still not doing great. Hoives! <laughs> it symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. <laughs> Don't worry, man, I was smiling here. She's waiting for someone to let her out. Oh, <laughs> wish I could help you. Statue of Tem, very famous, very. Have you figured out that it's not? Everyone's go free, but Tem! Tem will not leave, Tem watch egg. Tem will be happily family. Family. Whoa, if Tems can go on surface, can see. Lot of cute human. Hoi, welcome to the Tem shop! Hey, how's your education going? How's your saving up for grad school, man? Hello? Hoi! I'm Temmie. About Temmy armor? Oh, I feel like we've heard these before. Tem armor so good, any battle become an easy victory. But mm, Tem think if you use armors, battle wouldn't be challenged anymore. But Tem have a solution! Tem will offer a scholarship! If you lose a lot of battles, Tem will lower the price. So if you get to tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tem armor as last resort. But Tem armor so good, promise to only buy if you really need it. That might be good if I decide to do like a genocide run or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tem got degree in Tem studies. Tem can tell you all about Tem's deep history. Please, please do. Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. <laughs> ah, pack up your shop, it's time to go home. Or, I guess this is your home, but it's time to go to the surface. Yeah, we feel determination. <laughs> okay. Is that it for a waterfall? It's just so many memories everywhere. Whoa, I haven't seen you before. Gur? Who are you? Freedom? What? Bah! You're pulling my leg. Who is this? I don't remember you at all. And what is this? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Oh, where should we push it? Ah, presumably to be pushed, but I don't, it can't be pushed. Okay, well, mister, we're leaving now. I hope you get ready soon. Howling wind is now a breeze. Determination. Oh, the epic fight with Undyne. Hey, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want a cup. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, Vulcan. Oh, Freedoms. Feels so spicy. <laughs> okay, Mr. Volcano, you better, you better pack up too. Who the heck are you? Oh, you're the rope guy. <laughs> if we leave, no one will really ever know. Know what? What do you know that we don't? You better, you better tell us. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Hey guys, have you packed up? Hey, did you hear? The barriers opened up. Now school has to be canceled, right? <laughs> 
There will be lots of places to loiter on the surface, I bet. Right you are. And nothing new. You guys gonna go to work? The barriers opened up, so we don't have to go to work today. I mean, sure, we're free. But it's the little things, you know? <laughs> today, we all started as co-workers. Who knows what will be tomorrow? How about friends? So we're all gonna go free? Does that mean I don't get to go to work? Is this guy literally a floating head? Oh my god. Oh? Oh, hey you! Ha 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 Wonder if any humans would want to be my friend. Psych! That never happened. Oh! I think we're going backwards a little bit. That's okay. Oh! Seems like the mouse hacked the safe and took the cheese out. <gasps> Good job! Oh, hey, remember that time when I got really pissed here? <laughs> God, I hated that. That, that made me so mad. <gasps> Tuna plane! Ah, human, you're leaving? I, I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I may have had limerent feelings for you before. However, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I did not love you. I was merely infatuated with the concept of love, the idea of romance, the concept of sharing affection with another. Through these desires, I built the false concept of you in my head. Such a relationship would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I chose to say nothing. Y you idiot. <laughs> God. How long do you think Tuner Plane spent writing that essay just now? <laughs> I want to see the draft copies. Oh, hey guys! Toasty bun! Still. I wanted another hot dog, but the hot dog guy never came back. Besides that, today was fine. Count your blessings, even if you don't get a second hot dog. <laughs> Hates flames, man! What? Do you want to rematch? <laughs> Hates flames, man. Hates flames, man. Hey guys! I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface! If all humans are like you, I think it'd be really popular. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Quiet guy. Yeah, remember when Metatunt was taunting us here? With his stupid ass musical song? Hey, Vulcan! Hooray! Surface World will have so many new friends to help! Aw, you're such a sweetie. Oh! Metaton! He recognized my voice from when I called in, and he... He gave me his dress! I'm so... <laughs> oh, I'm so glad for you! You can perform on the surface now! And you must be one of the eight loyal viewers, huh? <laughs> hey, spiders! So, about that refund that I never got. Bonjour, dearie! I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll also be able to afford a spider football stadium. We'll play with four balls on the field at once. <laughs> you, you're you doing that with my money. With Temi's college fund. You should be happy I managed to still raise money for Temi. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV. But, I bet none of those shows are as good as Metatons. I... I'm thinking of going to the surface. Eh? You're gonna go there too? Idiot! Quit following me! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey! On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. Right, this guy got scammed because the spiders look scary, so he bought one anyway. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I can afford your food still. 9999, no thank you. What about those two cats in the alleyway? Freedom. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like, pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human! Surprise! Oh, oops, really? Uh, 
Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? It's, uh, it's like, practically our catchphrase. <laughs> really? I thought our catchphrase was, Brad, Braddy's the best, Kiki Caddy's the coolest. Um, no? We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? <laughs> Your future. Hmm, now that we're gonna be free, oh my god, and we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. <laughs> That's like, your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy! <laughs> this is the same as the bunny in Snowden. Some strange, I don't know, cats owning cats, bunnies owning bunnies going on. Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like, so t- Whoa. <laughs> They're like so tasty. They're like so cute. <laughs> Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Hello? <laughs> oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. Don't tell me it was that goddamn dog. It was like... So clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats! <laughs> That's right, it's not two cats here. It's one crocodile and a cat. Like, see you later. Later stuff. Bye. Bye, guys. Have fun packing up and moving to the surface. Alright, MTT Resort. Sorry, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. This broken-ass statue. There's an inscription. Royal Memorial Fountain. Mediton added last week. Royal Memorial Fountain? Were they... Was this a memorial for something else? Because I'm pretty sure they weren't trying to remember Mediton. <laughs> bloop bloop. Now we can live life without reservations. So, if we're leaving, will my job... Ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho, you're so funny. The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. <laughs> You'd get bored of that, wouldn't you? Hey, ficus liquor. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus... But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. I want to see some licking going on. You're not doing anything, you're just standing there. Right, and the snowdrake's not here anymore, the snowdrake dad. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. <laughs> As a human, I'm also overjoyed. Hey guys, time to leave. No response. I guess they might have left already. Hey janitor, it's time to leave. I'm trying to finish up work. All right, last day of work. Get the last paycheck. Everybody's favorite. Hey man. Freedom. <clears throat> so we're free, huh? Mediton told us as much. Then he told me, "Don't think that means you're getting out of work early." Ah, uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so so much. Ha <laughs> ha. Braddy and Caddy. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? <laughs> well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good thing. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. <laughs> because they'll make fun of me. But I 
feel like I've played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working at this awful job, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. You did! You kept the human entertained. With 60 gold, which I'm still a little bit bitter about, but forget it. <laughs> little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. <laughs> Alright, you pack up, get out at five, and get out of here. Oh. As a youth, I would sneak out to play by this creepy flaming pit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find it. Now it's my special place. It is nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. Banana man. We were hired by Medicine to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. I feel like that's more for me to decide rather than you, but okay. We're back here. Oh, I never went up here, by the way. It's taking a nap. Right, because Alphas told us to go right and then I never went up, but I guess there wasn't much there anyway. Hello, banana man. Why do I look like a black sausage and not a knight or a wizard? Well... Everyone has an angle they look best from. <laughs> Alright, I looked through the entire castle and there was nobody anywhere. So I guess it's time to say goodbye to our six most precious friends. Howdy, Frisk! Oh, you say howdy too! Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least <laughs> once. You don't need to be talking, okay? Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant! <laughs> well, you know, it's like a ritual to becoming my friend, I guess. Psst, Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. Did do you think Asgore and Toriel are... Um... Ever gonna get back together? Maybe... Maybe... Mm, it's hard... You know, losing two children is a very hard thing, but I believe... They were so in love before... And Asgore just made a mistake because he was very sad... So... Maybe... Yeah! Yeah! That's what I hoped too! Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. <laughs> I'm on your channel. Tori and Gori. My my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a, all of a sudden. <laughs> so, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. W well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um... No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> High five. That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please, help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... But with swords? Oh, so it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato! Where is this? Where can I see the anime? <laughs> <laughs> this is like when your your grandma says, I, I have to consult the Google. <laughs> uh, hold on, um, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Don't show him Mew Mew Kissy whatever, okay? That's a little bit hardcore for him. You should show him a beginner anime. Oh, um, 
Um, that's that's the that's that's the wrong. Oh, too late. Uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Uh, Asgore's pretty open-minded. I like him. <laughs> so, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. <laughs> Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Hey, Frizz. What's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with- Mom! Don't talk about that! <laughs> and then asked to call me mother? Oh my- Don't talk about that in succession with the other thing! Oh boy. Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationship in a new light. <laughs> hey, Tori. Do you have any other embarrassing stories? No! Oh, do I ever! But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. <laughs> Hello, Frisk. Alphys upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. <laughs> Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! <laughs> hey, I want to join in. Can I join in? Their phone might be out of batteries. God- No! God damn it! Oh! I got a text! Yeah! Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. <laughs> oh, those goat horns. I like it. Now turn your head... <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Torio. <laughs> That's all for now. Maybe in the next room. You will receive another. Oh no, okay, if you're gonna do that, then I'm gonna freaking text you all day long. Wrong one. Let's see. Ah, wrong one again. Oh, message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding, LOL. Sincerely, hey, typo, Toriel. PS, do not get into trouble. I won't. Oh, what about, can I have another one? I'm greedy, you give me one, I want another one. Oh my god. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincere- <laughs> I meant to say sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Oh, you sweetheart. <laughs> Mommy, Toria. This is worse than texting my own mom. Sans will be typing from now on. Hey Frisk, it's Toriel. <laughs> I just baked like a billion pies. You want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. I did not say any of that. <laughs> God. Greetings. This is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. 
Okay, wait. I can actually just go between the rooms and get new messages. So let me get a little bit closer here. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and- Someone's stealing the phone away. Excuse me. <laughs> Cat video! Oh, I wanna see! Inside, she meticulously describes a video she- She saw of a small white animal. It's a dog! It's a goddamn dog! And also, please give me the link. There is no link or attachment to watch it. Well, at least we have a description of it. Forward. Send this to someone you care about or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. <laughs> Dear Frisk, thought you might enjoy this. Aww, I do enjoy it. I know, I know. Oh! Wait, a snail? <laughs> Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited! Maybe if you're lucky, you can have some. Ah, uh, you can you can try it out first. I'll I'll try the next round. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. L O L. P S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Oh, that's right. That's Asgore's last name. Dear Frisk, Undine is very strong. The Pyrus made a bet with her. That she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not how to put everyone down. <laughs> Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? I didn't! I didn't! She watches more anime than I do. Dear Frisk, I heard about using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, all right? Sincerely, Torio. Oh, that was a wild ride. Aw, alright. Okay. Everybody, let's go to the surface. Hey, Mom. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? <laughs> I already got all your texts. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you are working! I know. And it's taking all my concentration. It seems like you really bought your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. Hey, Alphys! Alphys! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? Uh, I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. What about, like, Sailor Moon or something? That's close to a princess, right? On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. Oh god! <laughs> I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Cause I'm gonna post it online. Yeah, reap that sweet karma. Frisk! I just realized! Now that we aren't fighting each other... I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, I would. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Oh, well. Actually, the cup I had is cold now. So you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy that you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Oh, there's so many- there's so much dialogue here. 
I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things undone and I can watch. Oh man! We're gonna be able to watch anime online! Of course, Undyne! What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx! I knew you were gonna make that joke. Wait, Alphys, I didn't know you knew songs. Well, I... Doesn't everybody? What? What the hell? <laughs> Who the hell? Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Toriel! <laughs> what happened to her? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Let me see if I can exhaust any everybody's dialogue. Oh, Frisk. If you're not busy... On nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. Oh, I will, I will, thank you. Hey Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? I did. He was here for a while too. But he said he had to go somewhere. Ah, oh, to be with his cousin. Hey Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napstablook? Oh, tell them I said hi too. Oh yeah, you guys were neighbors. Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Frisk, take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones. Okay, okay. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now, right? <laughs> Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you've made here, I am almost certain you must have made some more. <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Oh man. We're gonna go back to the surface, everybody. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Let's go. The last save. The end. <gasps> if you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>